answering questions on categories they select from the tic-tac-toe board. Now, for every correct answer to a question here in one of these outer categories, the value of the game increases by $300. For a correct answer to a question here in the more difficult center box, the value of the game goes up $500. And, of course, the first player to score three X's or three O's in a row wins the game. That's the way we play. Last week, many of you will remember our current champion, Army Captain Michael O'Rourke, who is now winning more than $140,000, had completed a series of five ties with his newest challenger. We had just begun the sixth game, and to see how that comes out, let's meet our first two players. Returning with $140,300 from Kalamazoo, Michigan, an Army Captain. He teaches at Western Michigan University, was an Army interpreter in France, and his hobbies are bridge and rivalry. Captain Michael O'Rourke. And from West New York, New Jersey, a sales administrator. He attended law school, served in the U.S. Army, and his hobby is politics. Mr. Martin Dowd. Martin, it's nice to have you back with us again. Nice to be back, Jay. And Michael, I'm running out of things to say to you. I guess this is about the 18th week. You're winning $140,000. Do you have time to do much preparation this week? Not too much time. I've been pretty busy. How about you, Martin? Well, some, Jay. Well, uh, let's hope it paid off for both of you. Mike, uh, if you remember, last week you seemed to have a little edge because as we went off the air, the board looked like this. Martin had missed a question. There were two X's and one O, and it'll be your turn to go as soon as we roll the categories to new positions. You'll have a chance with the next X at that time. That'll take about one minute from now. In the meantime, now for a close-up view, of what's new in portable TV, easy-to-carry portables make perfect second sets for your home. Pick up one at your RCA Victor dealer. And now, gentlemen, if you're ready, on we go with Tic-Tac-Doe. Let's roll the categories to new positions, please. There they are, two X's, one O on the board. It's your turn, Michael O'Rourke. Where would you like to place the next X? I'll try Civil War, Jay. Civil War in the lower right-hand corner, giving yourself an extra chance to score. Here's your question on the Civil War. An important battle fought on August 29th and 30th, 1862, between the Army of Northern Virginia under Robert E. Lee and several federal forces commanded by Pope was won by the South. Name this battle. What's the date again, Jay? August 29th and 30th, 1862. Southern forces uh, under Lee, the North commanded by Pope. I think that's second bull run. Second that, bull run. That's right. You have an extra game at $15,000. <laughs> now, Martin Dowd, you have many places you might place the next goal. Where would you like to try? Inventions. Inventions. Jay. In the lower center box to block him from scoring across the bottom. Here's your question on inventions. The Audion tube, perfected by this American in 1907, led to the development of radio. Name this American inventor. Amplifier. That was DeForest. Lee DeForest is right. You have an all the games of $15,300. That's the end of the round. Let's go to the next round. Interesting problem now, Mike. Where will the next X go? Well, that's a beautiful choice. Baseball and potluck. <laughs> I better try potluck. Potluck to block him rather than trying to score yourself. Here is your question on potluck to block him in the upper center box. One of the hits of 1957 was this Calypso type song. Listen and name it. That's Belafonte's song. I think they call it I can give you the words easier. <laughs> I think they call it the Banana Boat Song. Is that your answer? Banana Boat Song. That's right. You have an extra game of $15,600. You've blocked your mic. And now, Martin Dowd, it's your turn with another O. Where will it be this time? Baseball, Jay. Baseball. To block him vertically in the left-hand column, here's your question on baseball. Two teams were tied for last place in the National League at the close of the 1957 season. Name them. Well, I always had him in the baseball pool, so <laughs> it's uh, the Cubs and the Pirates. That's right. You have an all the games at $15,900. <laughs> That's the end of the round. On to the next round, please. 
Two places left, Mike, and still the same problem. Where will it be this time? Well, that question proves that I shouldn't have gone to baseball. <laughs> I'm sorry. What a choice. I'll try for one more double. What? Movies. Movies. To block him from scoring and leaving only one box unoccupied. Here is your question on the movies. Name the actor who played the part of the cowardly lion in the movie, The Wizard of Oz. I just read that in the Army Times, Bert Lahr. That's right, you have an extra game for $16,200. And now it's your turn, Martin Dowd, only one place to go, and if you answer this question correctly on baseball, we'll have another tie game at $16,500. Of course, your category must be baseball. Here is your question. How many umpires are used in each World Series game? Six, Jay. Six is right. It's a tie game at $16,500. <laughs> well, Mike, how do you feel about going for uh, the other one besides baseball the other time? You think you would have known that? I knew that one. You knew this one. All right, that's a tie game. So now let's erase all the X's and O's from the board like that. The money remains the same, $16,500. We continue playing from that point as we roll the categories to new positions. All right, Mike, it's your turn. Our champion always goes first. Where would you like to try to place the first X? I'll go to the Bible. The Bible, in the lower right-hand corner. Here's your question. Incidentally, all questions used on this program have been authenticated by the Editorial Research Board of the Encyclopedia Britannica. Jacob worked for seven years in order to marry Rachel, but was given her older sister instead. Name Rachel's older sister. Leah. You have an X. The game's at $16,800. <laughs> your turn, Martin Dowd. Where would you like to try to place the O? Inventions, Jay. Inventions in the difficult center box. If you need extra time, you may have it. In the 18th century, a British clergyman invented the first power loom for weaving cloth. Name him. You want some extra time to think about it. I'd like some extra time, I'll Jay. I'll tell you when your time is up. Time is up, uh, Martin. Do you understand the question? Y yes, yes, I do, and it's caught right. That's right. You have an older game. Is at seventeen thousand three hundred dollars. <laughs> caught right is not wrong. That's the end of the round. Let's go to the next round. There they are, Mike. Where now? Civil War. Civil War in the lower left-hand corner. Here's your question. The charge led by this Confederate general on July 3rd, 1863, on Cemetery Hill during the Battle of Gettysburg is one of the most famous episodes in military history. Name the general. Pickett. Pickett is right. You have an X. The game's at $17,600. <laughs> your turn now, Martin Dowd. Where will it be? Hot luck, Jay. Hot luck to block him from scoring across the bottom. Here's your question on pot luck. Might be on any subject. The instruments found in a modern symphony orchestra fall into four main categories. Strings, woodwinds, brass, and percussion. Into which division do the following instruments go? Bassoon, tambourine, and English horn. Let's take them one at a time. A bassoon is which group? Woodwind. Right, a tambourine. That's percussion. Right, English horn. Woodwind. That's right again. You have an older game at $17,900. <laughs> the end of the round. Let's go to the next round. Two X's and two O's. Where do we go now, Mike? Up the block. With? Baseball. Baseball in the upper center box to block him from scoring and winning your title. While pitching for Cincinnati in 1938, this player established a record when he pitched 18 innings hitless innings in two consecutive games. You understand the question? Two consecutive no-hit games. Yes, I think I know who that is. For Cincinnati? Right. Is that Johnny Vandermeer? Is that your answer or another question? Well, that's the only one I know, Johnny Vandermeer. That's right. You have an extra game for $18,200. <laughs>
<laughs> Breathe easy, Mike. Your turn now, Martin. Where would it be with the next goal? Inventions, Jay. Inventions. In the left center box, here's your question on inventions. An American inventor who died in 1930 is credited with inventing the gyro compass. Name him. It would be Sperry. Sperry is right. You have an old. The game is $18,500. The end of the round. Let's go to the next round. No misses so far. Three X's, three O's. Your turn, Mike. Where is it now? Well, anyhow, it's not baseball. <laughs> the Bible. It's the Bible this time to block him from scoring again. Here's your question on the Bible. Name the first four books of the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are the right four. You have another X to game for $18,800. And now, Martin Dowd, where would you like to try for the next goal? Civil War, Jay. Civil War to block him from scoring. In the upper right-hand box, here's your question. On July 26, 1861, Lincoln ordered a Union general to organize and train the Army of the Potomac for a tie game at, at $19,100. Name that general. McClellan. Is right. It's a tie game at $19,100. And again, we erase all the X's and O's from the board. Going into the seventh or eighth tie, eighth game. Now, seven tie games we've had. The money remains the same, $19,100. Let's roll the categories to new positions, please. Seven consecutive ties. Where do we start the eighth game, Mike? Try invasions. Invasions in the upper right-hand corner. Here's your question. United States forces were sent against this city between 1801 and 1805 because it was the base of the Barbary pirates against whom the United States was fighting. Name the city. Tripoli. The Marines are proud of you. That's right. You have an X against $19,400. Martin Dowd, where would you like to try with the O? Hot luck, Jay. Hot luck in the difficult center box. More time if you need it. Shrove Tuesday is the last Tuesday before Lent. What is the French name for this day? You want some extra time to think about that? No. Mardi Gras. Is right. You have an O. The game is at $19,900. That's the end of the round. Let's go to the next round. I imagine both you gentlemen could use a little breather about this time to take a careful look at the board and decide where you're going to try to place your next X and next O. And while you're doing that, right now, here is somebody who'd like to talk to one of you listeners. Better pay attention because it might be you. Color TV. Well, make sure you see it, and soon. All right, gentlemen, on we go with Tic Tac Doe. No. Mike, it is your turn to go. Where would you like to place the next X? I'll go to inventions. In the upper left-hand corner, here's your question on inventions. Name the machine patented by Eli Whitney in 1794. The cotton gen. Is right. You have an X again for $20,200. Your turn now, Martin. Where would you like to place the next O? Civil War, Jay. Civil War in the top center box to block him from scoring and winning all those games. Here it is. Who was in command of the Army of the Potomac at the Battle of Gettysburg? Meade. Meade is right. You have an all the games of $20,500. <laughs> the end of the round. Let's go to the next round. Where now, Mike? I'll try to block with inventions. Inventions okay. in the lower center box to block him from scoring. Here it is. An American inventor developed a railway sleeping car by 1858. Name him. Pullman. Is right. An X and the game is at $20,800. <laughs> Your turn now. Martin Dowd, where would you like to place the next goal? Oh, boy, they're both bad. <laughs> bad baseball, Jay. Baseball in the right center box. Here's your question on baseball. The last time a major league player batted over 400 for the season was in 1941. Name the player who hit over 400 in that year. Well, somebody didn't last year, but not for the season, so it must have been. Williams. That's right. You have an O. The game is at $21,100. That's the end of the round. Let's go to the next round. Your turn now, Mike. Where will it be? Baseball. Baseball to block him from scoring. Here's your question on baseball in the left center box. Only one player in baseball history has ever amassed more than 4,000 base hits during his major league career. Name him. Ty Cobb. That's right. You have an extra game for $21,400. <laughs> These boys just don't miss. 
Now, Martin Dowd, it's your turn. Where would you like to try now? To block him, the Bible, Jay. With the Bible. I think if you answer this correctly, we will have still another tie at $21,700. That's right. Here is your question on the Bible for the eighth consecutive tie at $21,700. Herod sent the wise men to Bethlehem to find the child, saying that he wished to go there too and worship him. What three gifts did the wise men give the child? Gold. One. Frankincense. Two. And uh, near. I'll accept that. I think it's usually pronounced myrrh, but that's right. It's a tie game of $21,700. I don't know how long this can go on. Anyway, we erase all the X's and the O's from the board like that. The money remains the same, $21,700. Michael O'Rourke has $140,300 at stake. Let's roll the categories to new positions. Your turn again, Mike. Where will it be this time? Let's try invasions again. Dave. Invasions again in the upper left-hand corner. Here's your question. The three wars between Rome and Carthage were fought on the soil of both powers. What were the wars called? Oh, the Punic Wars. Punic Wars is right. You have an extra game of $22,000. Now, Martin Dowd, it's your turn. Where would you like to place the first goal? The 40s, The Jeff. 40s, the difficult question in the center box. If you need extra time, you may have it. In December 1944, Congress approved the appointment of four generals of the army. That's the title. Marshal... Eisenhower and MacArthur were three of the four men promoted. Name the fourth. You want some extra time to think about it. I think I think I, I think see yeah, that was Air Force head uh, Arnold. Hap Arnold is right. You have an O again for twenty two thousand five hundred dollars. That's the end of the round. Let's go to the next round. Your turn now, Michael. Where will it be? I'll try the movies. The movies. In the lower left-hand corner, here's your question on the movies. This actor made his movie debut in The Painted Desert in 1931 and won the 1934 Oscar for the best performance of the year. He has since appeared in The Tall Men and The Hucksters. Name him. Clark Gable. That's right. You have an extra game for $22,800. <laughs> now, Martin Dowd, it's your turn. Where would you like to go with the O? The 40s, Jim. The 40s. To block him from scoring and winning all those games, here's your question. The first peacetime draft in the United States was inaugurated on October 29, 1940, when the Secretary of War pulled the number of the first draftee out of a glass bowl. Who was that Secretary of War? Stimson. You have it all. The game is at $23,100. <laughs> the end of another round. Let's go to the next round. Two X's and two O's. Where does the next X go, Mike? Invasion. Invasions to block him from scoring. Here's your question. Before being invaded by the Germans during World War II, Greece was attacked and invaded by another European power. Name it. Uh, Italy. You have an X. The game's at $23,400. <laughs> now, Martin Dowd, it's your turn. Where would you like to try the next goal? The 40s, Jay. 40s. In the upper center box, here's your question on the 40s. The death of the Iron Man of Baseball on June 2nd, 1941, shocked the nation. Name the Iron Man of Baseball. Jay, I, I heard something from the audience. I'd like you to, I don't know if I heard it, but I, I think... Would you like us to disqualify the question? I, I you think, think that's the fair thing to do? Is that all right with you, Mike? I, I didn't, I don't know what the... I heard the answer. I think I heard it, too. I think the fair thing to do would be disqualify that question, give you another question on the same category. Right. If that's all right with both of you, I'm sure it's all right with the producers. Here we go. The question on the 40s. <laughs> In case there's any doubt about the answer, it was Luke Gehrig, but I heard it, I think, rather clearly from the audience, and it was very nice of you to tell us that you heard it, too. All right. Employed by a German broadcasting station during the 40s, William Joyce was brought to trial in England for the broadcasts he had made for the Nazis during the war. Please, no help from the audience. What was the nickname he used during those broadcasts? Lord Ho Ho. That's right. You have an O. The game's at $23,700. <laughs> That's the end of the round. Let's go to the next round. 
And let me caution the audience again. Please don't call out answers. You might very well harm the chances of the person you think you're trying to help. Mike, it's your turn now. Where would you like to go? I'd like to block. I'll try the Bible. The Bible. In the lower center box to block him from scoring, here it is. In the story of the creation, as related in Genesis, we are told that God created the sun and the moon on a specific day. On what day were they created? Thank Bob Schoberg for that. The fourth day. That's right. You have an extra game for $24,000. <laughs> Your turn now, Martin Dodd. Where will it be this time? The 40s to the block. The 40s to Jay. block him again in the lower right-hand corner. Here's your question on the 40s. Name the man. Oh, just been called to my attention. This would be another tie, the eighth consecutive tie. If you answer this correctly, the game would go to $24,300. Name the man who succeeded James Burns as Secretary of State in 1947. Marshall. It's a tie game of $24,300. <laughs> we now have nine consecutive tie games. They're going so fast I can't keep track of them. Again, we erase the X's and O's from the board, please. The money remains the same, $24,300. We continue to play from that point as we roll the categories to new positions. Starting the 10th game, this is reminiscent of the days with Pat Nance, isn't it, Mike? So many ties. Where would you like to try the 10th game first X? I'd like to try to leave right now. <laughs> <clears throat> I think I'd better try the 40s, Jay. The 40s. In the upper left-hand corner, here's your question on the 40s. Proceedings in the 80th Congress, which convened in Washington, D.C. on January 3rd, 1947, were stalled by an all-day debate over the seating of Senator Theodore Bilbo. What state did Senator Bilbo represent? Mississippi. You have an X against $24,600. Your turn now, Martin Dodd. Where will it be? <coughs> invasion. Invasion is the difficult question in the center box. If you need extra time, you may have it. The Japanese invasion of a Manchurian city in 1931 helped precipitate the Chino-Japanese War. Tell me, one, the city invaded in 1931, and two, the name to which the Japanese changed Manchuria. Do you want some extra time to think about it? No, I think... First, I want to be sure you understand I, I the would, question. I would like some extra... I'll tell you when your time is up, Martin. Do you understand the question, Martin? Yes. Uh, First, tell me the name of the city the Japanese invaded in 1931. Well, a Korean friend of mine went to school there, so I don't pretty sure. Uh, then That's is the, the first city. part is right. The and second one is the name Japanese changed Manchuria to. That's a little awkward phrasing. You know what I mean. Well, uh, Manchukuo. Manchukuo is right. You have an all the game is at $25,100. That's the end of the round. No, oh, won't even have a chance to roll to the next round. However, you gentlemen will both have a full week to study uh, those categories and come back well prepared next week, if you will. I'll find out in a minute if you both can return the game at $25,100. But first, here is a unique idea. Here's an easy, attractive way to own a complete home sound studio. A way to build a home entertainment center. See it, hear it at your RCA Victor dealers. And now, Martin and Mike, can we expect you both next week at the same time? Well, I guess I can come back. Uh, I hope you can, Mike. We look forward to seeing you. $25,100 at stake with 140000 over there. To be an awful lot of money if you win, you'd lose a little if you lose. Look forward to seeing you both next week. And you ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to see you next week at the same time, too. Meantime, watch daytime Tic Tac Doe with Jack Barry every day at noon New York time on NBC. And here's an important message. Defeat cancer by supporting intensive cancer research. Send your check to the American Cancer Society and see your doctor for an annual health checkup. Till next week at the same time, this is Jay Jackson. Thank you for looking in, and good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>